People come to poetry because we've got a certain reputation. People think we're one of the most romantic spots in town. And I'm not going to argue with that at all. This is the place, you know, that you go to for that special evening. Soft lights, wonderful food, music that's just right. Poetry's got a rhythm all its own. Sure, not everyone here has romance on their minds. We get business people and families here too. And just between you and me, sometimes people come to poetry just because they're hungry. But whatever their rhymes or reasons, they've all come here for an experience they really can't get anywhere else. Because frankly, we try to spoil every one of our customers. So we work really hard to make sure everything goes just right for everyone's special evening, no matter what it is. And it all starts well before the evening begins. And I'm not talking about the atmosphere or the mood, but the food. It's not enough that the food is merely wonderful, which it is, but the food has to be safe. And your responsibility for the safety of the food in your establishment begins long before any food is actually served to the customer. Your responsibilities actually begin with your purchasing, receiving, and storage procedures. Here's what you need to know. How to prevent cross-contamination. The proper procedures for time and temperature control general purchasing and receiving principles, general guidelines for receiving and inspecting food, and general storage guidelines. The safety of the food at your establishment will depend largely on how well you apply food safety practices throughout the flow of food. The flow begins with purchasing and receiving and goes all the way through storing, preparing, cooking, holding, cooling, reheating, and serving. To keep food safe, it is important to prevent cross-contamination and time and temperature abuse throughout the entire flow of food in your establishment. 